Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Armani and their new Lip Maestro Satin Lipsticks, okay? I grabbed four of them. I'm gonna be swatching and trying each one on. It's a pretty straightforward video today, okay? So if you wanna see what shade I'm wearing now, what the other three shades look like, and what the super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this pretty quick and easy video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea products of the day. I am rocking our Emerald Boho Head Wrap. I just thought it would be a nice bit of color, completely different than anything I'm going to be putting on my lips today. Sometimes the opposite is good. It doesn't always have to be matchy-matchy. Some days you just want something different. So a long piece of stretchy fabric. Fashion it into any style you want. Dress them up, dress them down, wear them to work out. Wear them to run errands, date night, hanging out with your girls. Whatever you've got going on, we've got a color for you that will fit, okay? They do come in lots and lots of colors, and we've got some prints in there too. So if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay, so Armani recently released their new Lip Maestro Satin Lipsticks. I know that the Lip Maestros are a very, very popular product for them. So these are the satin version. I grabbed four okay here they are we'll look at them individually in a second okay but here they are and i really really like this packaging we have the frosted glass so the color just peeks through okay very chic got the angled top super duper chic you can sort of see the uh color it makes it tricky to purchase though because you're very, Armani, I, I spoke about it in my, um, the uh, Luminous Blush video. The numbers and the names do not align here in Europe. They're different sometimes to the American ones. So we're gonna start with zero, one. I remember that with the blushes too, the names on the box. And I don't know if you're like me, but I only keep very, very special packaging. This does not rate as that, so I don't keep the packaging for my Armani product. So this is 01 and I have the box, so it is called Summer Adventure, okay? 01, like a nice mauve color. It is 01, so in the pictures, they were, it was looking particularly light, okay? Particularly light and you couldn't tell, but I'm actually liking this color a lot on my hand, so I'm excited to try this on. And just for comparison's sake, Here's the Lip Maestro on the left, and then here's the Lip Maestro Satin. So they switched it up. I think this is, this is chic. I like the glass. I like the frosted glass. So here we are. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this color. I still wasn't sure if it would be too light for me, but it's doing the most interesting thing. The, my lips are naturally creating like a, a liner and then it's lighter in the middle. I don't ever read, I don't know about you. I mean, it has to be like a really special reason for me to really to break to read the the instructions or read too fully into a lip product listing. But I just took a look at the uh lip my show uh listing and what's interesting is it says there's three ways to use it one way is to use the doe foot which i'll show the doe foot which is very very interesting i love this shape the tip you can you know allows you to line it so one of the ways they're saying is to line it with the doe foot and then fill the rest in and i'm like huh i never thought about doing that the other way is to start from the middle and just blend out uh, the lips. And then you can stain it with one to do to two dots. I've never, I don't read lipstick. I mean, I think we can all apply lipstick, but I thought the lining was interesting because I didn't even think to do that with this doe foot. But okay, supposed to be uh, last up to 24 hours. Okay, there's glycerin in there for hydration. Um, there's a gel fusion technology that evenly disperses color pigment throughout the formula. But I really like that it's not light enough. I thought I would have to put on a, a pencil, but I really, really like it. Okay, so this is number one. And if you need the name again, it's Summer Adventure and it's giving 
mauve, okay? A light mauve color, and it's created a really cool thing on my lips, and I'm hoping it's happening for other people. Uh, it's created like a, a liner situation. It's lighter in the middle, to be, but I don't usually get a liner situation, so this is really, really cool. Okay, next up we have 02, which is weekend getaway, okay? And maybe you can see in here, there's like an orangey tone to it. Here is zero two here. So zero one was more the mauve. This is more like a, a, a corally beige color. Okay, going on, so we've got like an orangey beige. I'm excited to try this one out. I think I'll try this one. Let's see if I can work it out with the using it as a liner and then filling in the middle. Let's see. I really, really do. This is completely up my alley and I just, every day throw on something but nothing too over the top. I'm loving the satin finish. It's not super shiny, but it's there. Uh, it adheres to the lips really, really nicely. There's no sinking in. It looks moisturized, doesn't look, you know, dry, doesn't look, none, none of that stuff is going on. So it looks really nice on the lip. I'm enjoying that. Um, and I do love a barely there lip, but bless their hearts. I lasted all of a quarter of a second trying to line my lips with that. Now, bless you if you want to do that. Give me a liner. I don't have I don't have time. I don't have patience, guys. I just don't have it in me to 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 be, you know. Eh, 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 no. I'll take a liner and I will uh fill my lip in. And I just want to remind you that I a couple of days after a video goes live here on YouTube, I will have swatches on my Instagram page in natural light. In the sun, it's starting to get really sunny here in Portugal. It's a little chilly, but we get sunny a lot, a lot, a lot of sun. So I will have swatches for you in video form in photos in the sun. So you can see all these next to each other in natural light, okay? So definitely come follow me on Instagram and, you know, I have fun on that page. And while I'm at reminders, just a reminder that everything that I'm wearing on my face will always be in the description below, okay? There will be some affiliate links if you wanna use mine. I greatly appreciate them. I will put it back into doing videos. And um, yeah, so if you're ever wondering what I'm wearing on my face when I don't talk about it, it'll always be in the description below. Now this next one is for those of you who love your color, okay? So this is 09. You can you can sort of surmise from the, the frosted glass what we're gonna be dealing with here. And this one is Summer Cruise, okay? Here is Summer Cruise. A nice, bright fuchsia, eh, magenta fuchsia color here. So look at the difference in the three shades. And I applied the exact same way. So I really wanted to see what both ends of the spectrum we're working with. So let me get this on my lips now. One that I only went in one time with a beautiful, beautiful burst of color, but there's still enough a depth there for me to, you know, feel comfortable with it. I'm really enjoying the slightness of the the satin uh, finish on this. Uh, very, very nice. Again, no sinking into lines in a weird way. Love, love, love this color. This is really, really pretty. And I know those of you who like bright colors on me or on yourself are gonna love this one. I always get comments when I wear a bright lipstick and, and that you love them on me and I appreciate it. This is very pretty and this is one I will absolutely uh, revisit. I did wanna say they dry down more than other satins I have, that's for sure. So while it's not completely dry, 
it certainly dries down. I can use this one as a barometer. Now I just put this one on, okay? You'll see a little bit on my finger. This is, again, I hope I said 09, so this is nine, and the name is Summer Cruise. Let's get to this last one. My poor lips always go through it in a try-on vid. So they're looking brighter than they are, brighter than they are, um, but that's just because I had to take them off, and so they're, they're getting natural color that doesn't exist normally uh, because there's been so much wiping on and off. But the last one is number 13, and that is called Gala Night. Gala Night. You can see this here, a little bit moody. Excited to try this one on. So here it is here, a red color, okay? Red maybe with a little bit of pink. Maybe with a little bit of pink. Like a raspberry sort of red maybe. Okay, here, gonna get it on the, the lips. I, I swatched it in my, please, my brain can't figure that out. I don't know why I thought it was this side to the camera, but here we are. And it is called, again, Gala Night. There was a soap opera, I wanna say it was like Young and the Restless, and I think it was like Drusilla back in the day. And I don't know why the person pronounced it Gala. That's always stuck in my head. I was like, who let that go? The Gala. The, and they were not, they were American. So let me just put that out there. Gala. I said it is not a damn gala. It's a gala. Um, so here it is. Let me get it on my lips now. Okay, so this is one time that the swatch did not link up with what happened on my lips because I thought it was going to be moody from the from the the bottle, but it swatched on my arm much brighter, and so I'm I'm actually quite happy that it's it is a moody color on me. It is a moody shade of red on me. This is a it's it went from a raspberry to a blackberry. Okay, like a blackberry stain. This is giving. Uh, like a, a, a blackish red color and I am loving like a black cherry. Very, very pretty. This is my, this is where I sit comfortably with reds, the more deep, deeper moody ones. Very, very pretty, this last one. And again, it's doing something really interesting that I do not notice any other time when I don't have a liner on. They said that it distributes the color, even the color is a thing that distributes evenly. It's interesting because it is creating like almost a liner effect on my lips that I don't notice. The opacity in other um, uh, products is pretty even from the light to the dark part. So it looks like one thing typically on me. I've never, never noticed such a big uh, jump between the outside of my lip and the inside with one product. This is, this is giving a liner look. And I'm, I'm absolutely loving that, to find that in a single product. So that's really, really cool. Um, and I don't know how else to describe it. The, if you see it up close, you're watching almost an ombre effect. And we're talking about one lip product that I would need two lipsticks or a liner and a lipstick to create with other products. Okay, so that's it for me, guys. Second video shot of the day. Got a busy week coming up, so I had to get them both in. Uh, I really enjoyed all four lipsticks. I gave you my opinions as we went, so it's really over to you. Let me know what you think of the four colors I tried on. Let me know if you've tried this um, formula. I think, I think when I checked, not all the colors were out in the US. The colors are kind of, uh, uh, in different places in Europe, different colors are different places. So I don't know where the full range is. I do believe there are 13, there are 13 shades. Um, but let me know if you've tried this formula. Let me know if you're planning to try it. What do you think of this product? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it when you do. And if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt, hair towel wraps, sand line, beanie, sand line, knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezyt.com. For all our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fravorbreezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.